Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskin's reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. there.
This is Raiden. The C4 found in strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No, there's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, right? I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell Pliskin to watch his back too. Just hurry. Nothing here. Thank you. 
Jack, do you remember the day we met? I'm kind of busy right now, Rose. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There were all these tourists around you, in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. <laughs> we started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. I was insisting that I was right, and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away, and we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we went our separate ways from the museum. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Hmm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution.
I've taken care of that annoying fly. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an Arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Raiden here. The C-4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Raiden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of Strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news either. These are sensor proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I'll go see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay. It'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into Shell 2 in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I... I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb, five years ago. I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. 
lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Ah, so many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield, and it's become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet. And I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission. And arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for Peg Leg Peter. He's gone for good. <laughs> I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4, and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five struts left, but if Shell 1 loses a strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. 
You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I made the calibrations while I was in the pantry. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all yours, Ryden. I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. Okay. I'll stand by until you radio in. What's up, Jack? I can't believe it. Stillman's prosthetic leg was all a big lie. Don't be too hard on him, Rose. But he's got no right to go around pretending he's got a prosthetic leg. That's an insult to people who really can't walk. Everyone's got their own reasons. Sometimes, you've got no choice but to lie. You're right. I, I guess it is necessary sometimes. Rose? It's nothing. Well, see ya. <laughs>